Greetings and welcome to this edition of the Technology Product Update for Wealth Access. Uh, my name is Andy Zinn. I'll be your host this afternoon. Um, I'm the Chief Innovation Officer here at Wealth Access. Uh, prior to coming to Wealth Access, I was a head of global market data at Alliance Bernstein uh, for six years. And then I was also, prior to that, head of operations and technology for another national startup named Investment Scorecard, was later acquired by Informa Financial Services. Um, we're going to go over the technology and product updates for the fall of 2024. Up to date this year, we've uh, had a couple of key focus areas as we come into uh, the back half of this year. First off, our in investments in the next generation of architecture. These are both data and architectural improvements and a new modern user interface, user centered interface and tools for the new UI um, that is both mobile friendly and current browser uh, friendly as well. Uh, additionally, we're working on uh, one of the key focuses for our group is data portability. Uh, recently, we've had an integration complete with Q2. Uh, also, we are launching our Wealth Access Integration Hub, which is a one-stop shop for our customers and potential clients to look into the ways that we can integrate with various providers in the space, as well as a little bit of self-service as how we can make our data available to our clients and other vendors through APIs. Lastly, um, we're in the research process for Snowflake data um, in clean rooms, as well as other data portability uh, concepts, really focusing around the fact that it's your data and we can make it available to you however or wherever you want to see it. So first off, talking about some of the architecture improvements, um, we've taken a step back this year and looked at the infrastructure that Wealth Access was built on initially and have come up with four processes to improve that. Um, first off, we're rebuilding it on modern language. We have adopted Python uh, as the modern language um, to rebuild a lot of the infrastructure. Um, additionally, we're shifting to a microservices framework where we break apart some of these very large uh, queries and execution steps and break them into microservices so we can decouple uh, the data and architecture to really allow a higher throughput, uh, more independent operations that's more scalable, uh, reduces deployment times and increases issue resolution timeframes. We've also enhanced our focus on data feeds and processes. We've come up with a standard process, documentation, and a repeatable framework uh, to really help improve the reliability, integrity, and speed of our data feeds and processing. Uh, this is giving improved clarity to our clients on their data requirements from us and our processes internally. One other thing that we did late this year was we've migrated all of our uh, processing power to these new ETL servers. So our ETL process is now running on a cloud framework that allows us to scale and meet demand as needed. So that has really reduced processing time and any sort of processing errors associated with that. Another focus for this year is listening to our customers. Um, you spoke, we listened. So last year in 2023, we had a sit down with um, a user group to talk about where does wealth access need to go? And so that collaboration came up with the roadmap and the top two items that our attendees selected were digital integrations and redesign of the wealth access product. First off, we are completing our digital integrations. We just talked about the Q2 integration, but also how do we integrate your data and then how do we make it available to you? And also the new design of the website. So you'll see within the integrations we talk about, the integration hub, and also the redesign of the UI, we've listened to the feedback you have given us. Um, other things that were suggested by the attendees of this conference um, are also parts of the new UI um, that you'll see in a lot of the different components that we release over the next few months. So let's talk about the new UI and the new interface. 
there's a prototype that we can demo as well. But these are some screenshots from the prototype where we're reimagining the dashboard, both from the investor side, investor and business owner view, and also the advisors, banks, and firm view here on the left. The advisor workflow is centered heavily around the balance sheet, your total net worth, the ability to add new accounts quickly, um, see the total net worth, cash flow, financial teams, but this is all widgetized, which means all of these are individual widgets that in the admin portal, you're able to move around, shift up, shift down, deselect, uh, just there's a lot of flexibility in these widgets because these are all API based widgets. Um, the only requirement is the balance sheet stays in this left hand side, but this is um, web or native for mobile and tablets and big screen, so it automatically resizes as needed. Similarly, the advisor dashboard shows you your look at clients, your client usage, your list of clients, um, among other things that are also around the administrative functions within the advisor's banks and firm views. We have an updated document vault, which is going to be the primary location where we house client statements. This is viewable at the individual client level at either the individual account or the household uh, that the client can see. And then also at the advisor and firm level, you can look down to your clients and see their vaults as well. But this is where you'd see an overview of the most recent documents. You'd have your statements from the system, the either trust or brokerage systems, tax documents, personal storage, all available uh, to be used by the end user and by the firm. Additionally, there'd be new business intelligence and insights. This is one of the key features of where we think data portability will come into play as you're able to now see additional components of these insights, whether it's money in motion, investable cash, 401k rollovers. Uh, you can see those itself, but then also you can see it listed when you're inside the business intelligence of the firm or advisor workflow, you can see them listed at the at your clients level as well. We have a uh, dedicated user experiences that are a little bit different for investors and owners. If you're looking at the investor portal, uh, it's focused on your ultra high net worth um, workflow. And so your dashboard's gonna represent that side, but also we have a small business owner workflow where you're able to have a concept of a investor or an owner that would have both, um, both pieces of wealth management. And so we have the ability to toggle between an investor workflow or a small business owner workflow within the same user and login credentials. Um, another component that we focused on this year is our data integration. And uh, just recently, back in September, we launched an integration with Q2 that allows you to bring our data into that digital banking platform. So this is now live with customers using the wealth access data in their Q2 portal. We're in their software development lifecycle. You can get our SDK from their app store and it is a very straightforward process to, to link uh, for customers of both. Um, as part of our continuing drive for integration, we have the integration hub that we've launched this year. Um, this is kind of a one-stop shop for you to be able to come in and see all of the different teams that we partner with um, within the industry, uh, whether it's for CRM, financial planning, document management, digital banking, tax, custody, broker dealer, um, this is the place to go to see all the folks that we partner with, uh, the data that they have available within that partnership, also to see our APIs that are available um, and how we can represent that data uh, outside into your um, systems, whether it's framing an our data into a website or accepting our data in bulk to be able to render into an analytics engine. Uh, we support both of those. So the website, the Integration Hub website will be available below and can have a public facing website where you can see general data. And if you'd like additional levels of details, uh, you'll need to register and we can set you up with a username and password. But part of the Integration Hub is data portability. And that's 
kind of coming to the end here where our focus is now also making your data available to you securely in a portable manner so you can take it whether you have a partnership with Snowflake or you want to partner with Snowflake and have us uh, work with them. We are a Snowflake partner um, or it's Salesforce, Salesforce Financial Cloud, AWS, Google Cloud. We're really agnostic as to the data provider you choose. If you're doing some analytics work or anything like that, it's your data. We want to make it available for you to use in any way that makes sense. Uh, we are not picking one over the other, uh, and we are not advocating for one or not, but it's really just client choice. If you're ready for this type of data and analytic service, then we can support you in it. That's really it for this session. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out either to myself or to customer care at wealthaccess.com, which is our client service desk, and they can answer any questions you may have and get back to you as quickly as possible. Thank you again for your time today, and I hope to speak to you again soon.